Okay, so the first step is to get the source code of microRTS. To, to do that, you just have to navigate uh, to the GitHub page of microRTS. So this is the URL. It's just uh, github.com slash santiontanon slash microRTS. And the easiest way to uh, get the source code from here using Git is there's this little green button on the right of the screen. So you click on it, and there's this text uh, box here. You just copy the content on that text box. Then you go to a terminal. You navigate to whichever folder you want to install the game in. So I'm going to install it in my research. Uh, and then you just type git space clone space and then you just paste here the content of the text box uh, that we just copied. You hit enter, it will take a few seconds to download and that's it. So we have downloaded microRTS. Uh, now the next step is to set it up in uh, whichever is your favorite IDE. For example, I'm going to set it up in NetBeans. So in NetBeans you just do a new project, uh, it is a Java project, I, I want to call it microRTS, for example. Uh, yeah, that location is fine. I don't want to create a main class, so that's it. So I finish. Uh, now, uh, now uh, we just created an empty project, so we have to now associate the source code of microRTS that we just downloaded with this project. In NetBeans, you just uh, right-click on the project, and you click in Properties, uh, go to the Sources folder. By default, uh, NetBeans creates this default source folder that we don't care about, so I just remove that. Uh, but now I say Add Folder. And we just navigate to wherever uh, you downloaded microRTS. You click on this uh, SRC folder, hit open, and that's it. So we have added the source folder uh, of microRTS to this project. Now microRTS depends on a couple of libraries. So we just go to the Libraries tab. You click on Add Jar Folder. We navigate uh, again to the microRTS folder. There's this folder called lib. So we just go inside. You select these two libraries, choose, and hit OK. And that's it. So we have microRTS set up. The last thing is to remember to set uh, the working directory to wherever you want. And for example, right now I'm going to set it uh, to the folder where I downloaded microRTS. Hit OK. And we have microRTS ready to go. So if we just want to test if it works, uh, the easy way is just go to this GUI uh, slash frontend package. And there's this class called frontend. But you can just right click on it, run file. And in just one second, uh, we will see microRTS launched. There you go. So if you do see this window, then that's it. You have microRTS set up. So this is a little front end that lets you uh, run uh, example games in microRTS. Usually, you don't want to use this GUI when you are doing research in microRTS, but it's a convenient way to just play with the game. You could. Uh, this is a, an example map that just comes by default, but you could load uh, different maps if you want. For example, if we navigate to the microRTS folder, you will see that it comes with a collection of maps. And we can load uh, whichever map that we want. For example, we could load this map, and we just loaded a different map. Uh, you could then choose whichever AI uh, you, you want to. So here, you could choose mouse controller if you want to play yourself, or any of the other AIs that come built in with the game. For example, I'm going to choose now random biased AI is going to play against uh, Light Rush, why not? Uh, here you could uh, choose whatever parameters of the game. If there's some AI that has parameters, for example, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say this one. So all the parameters of that AI will appear below, so you can configure it. But uh, let's just choose the random biased AI that doesn't have any parameter. And then you just hit Start, and then you will see a game started. So now the two AIs are actually uh, playing against each other. We could wait until the game ends. Or we could just stop it here. Uh, just in the interest of time, I'm going to stop it. Uh, but you could just uh, try this yourself. If you wanted to save uh, a replay of the game, you can click this checkbox, and a little replay of the of the game that you just played will be saved to disk. And then you can uh, load it and see it with these traces uh, tab here, uh, just to see uh, the game again if you want. And there's a third tab called Tournaments. That is the one that will be used in the microRTS competition to run the tournament. Uh, but uh, we don't need to know about that for now. So that's it. So you have microRTS set up.